All right, so today I'm going to be talking to you about the DX access control panels and how to enable the web controller and use your favorite browser to access it and uh, add uh, simple cards and such. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the support and downloads page and navigate yourself all the way down to the access control section of the downloads page and select web enabler. Go ahead and download a copy and uh, unzip it and run the web config application. Here's the application here and I have already configured our board here. Uh, and what I did was I click on try web and enabled the web controller. And uh, But if you have a different IP address, uh, in my case, I have 1.1 .1 being our uh, network here. So I went into advanced options, selected the correct controller's serial number, and then I gave it the uh, 112 address. Uh, click configure, and that will configure that uh, controller to the correct IP address. And then after that, you can click uh, try web. In this case, I have all my controllers enabled. So right now I can navigate to this IP address in my web browser, which is already here. And um, go ahead and put the username and password. In my case, ABC123. Click Login. And you'll be greeted by uh, the, your web controller. Uh, in this case, I have a two-door controller. So from here, I can actually open the doors. Uh, you can also add your cards, add users, check your swipe records. You can also do custom search searches. You can also do custom searches. You can go into configure, and in here you can do uh, reboot, adjust your time manually, as well as uh, change the door names, uh, set delays, uh, add a uh, uh, super card. Uh, super card is basically a card that can actually program users onto the the board themselves, and then of course your IP address, your subnet mask, and your gateway from within here, and your uh, username and password. In this case, uh, your username would be ABC. This is basically asking you for a new username, a new password, and then to confirm your password. Now, to add a card, uh, first let's go ahead and delete this user from here. Uh, to add a card, you can do auto add swiping. And uh, once you swipe your card with uh, with one of the readers, it'll show up here. Uh, in my case, I've already swiped my card, so I know my card is on my history. And this is my card here. So I'm going to go ahead and add card, paste my card number there, and just give it a name. Put Jose, click Add. It's already added. Let's go to Users, and you'll have your users here. Now, if I go to the board itself with the card that I just programmed, it's opening the door here. In my case, I have a Mac lock there. And if I refresh, it shows the card here, and then it allowed entry. Now, keep in mind that the web controller and the configurations that you make here are going to override any configurations using the uh, management software, which is the uh, Windows management software. The web controller can be used with Mac OS as well as any other oper operating systems such as uh, any uh, Linux uh, flavors uh, like uh, Debian, Ubuntu, uh, so on and so forth. Um, unfortunately, 
Uh, you do not have uh, extra features such as setting up uh, your your uh, personnel uh, and time privileges, uh, setting up uh, anti-passback and other features that actually the software itself for Windows provides you. Um, in this case, if you had a user, the user will always have access to uh, any of the doors. Um, if you go into the configuration um, and click on edit, you can only do uh, delays on doors uh, and it does give you the granular settings that the software provides. But it, this is a, a way to uh, give you access and make changes to it uh, if you only have a Windows, if you only have a Mac OS or a Linux platform computer. Uh, this is a way to uh, configure it. Uh, of course, you can always use parallels or any or any virtualization software to uh, to run a Windows operating system and then run the uh, the correct software for it. Um, I hope this is uh, educational and uh, serves you uh, well for your application. Thank you for watching.